Get it popping. We get it popping. We get it pop, 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 popping. Yo, I'm going to drop a freestyle for me. Because, you know, we just chilling in the NYC. But fuck it, I'm going to just switch it That's to the 305. What, what we going to do? We going to run on fry. About. Come on. Now drop a bar for me. So we can start this episode loud and clear. Come on. That's a funny thing. You're not loud and clear, though. <laughs> All right, man. Welcome back to another episode of I'm Down. It's your host, Georgia. It's your boy, Almond. And we got Jay somewhere in the back right now. Um, I'm trying to make a Pleasure sale. to be back, y'all. Uh, it's been a little minute. <clears throat> if you're wondering why I have glasses, yes, that's why I have glasses on. Okay? Uh, <laughs> and um, naked, to be honest with y'all, um, it's going to be our last episode for the year. Ever. In life. For 2020. Ever, ever. Cause fuck 2020. For 2020, and you know we were thinking a lot, just in general, right? Of like what this year has already been. So, a sucky fucking year, if you ask me. Huh? A sucky year, dog. A lot of bullshit has happened this year. <sighs> the big, big one being Corona and all that bullshit, dog. People is dying. Like people is really dying, dog. Man, you know I'll say this. It I would say depends on your perspective. You could say it's bad. It's been bad because of, like you said, the cor- coronavirus. A lot of people died. A lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people went homeless. Um, a lot of people went unemployed, right? Um, and that- so it's bad in that end. Uh, my bad to cut you off. It's bad in that end, but if you, depending on your perspective, too, you could think about it. Like, you've been home. A lot of people were home, and so that gave them an opportunity to spend more time with their families. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Um so it could have brought a lot of families together. No, it's just bro. something that that a lot of people don't think don't think about. You don't think it could have brought families together? No, I really Why? don't think. I think the whole idea was for you to get away from your family. What? what get what away you from mean? people. Get away from your family. Get away from them. What's next to you? If you well, care I mean, about them. I mean, you get away family from them. like inside, like your direct home, like your husband, like the traditional family, husband, wife, and kids. Like, think about this, right? I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my example for me, right? So. My dad used to always wake up since I could remember every single time, one o'clock in the morning. Wouldn't come back home until like five, six p.m. Truck driver. He'd wake up early, had, had a little commute to do, all that shit, right? My mom was was the last one at the house, the first one in the house, right? So when we came in, you know, we'll see my mom, you know, that's after school. Again, imagine if, you know, that happening back then, that would have meant my dad had to like probably stay, you know what I mean? Like Mind you, if they had cut the truck and shit off, he would have had to stay home. That is an example of like, oh, I would have been seeing my dad like all the fucking time instead of seeing him for like an hour a day and that's it. You get what I'm saying? Like, it would. It, it, so I think it could change dynamics again, though. It all depends on your perspective because maybe there's some families that didn't really want to be together, right? There's some. Nah, no so, couple. Some, yeah, there, there might have been a couple, you know, couples that weren't really working out. You know what I'm saying? And so putting them in the house together ain't ideal. <laughs> you, you, you feel me? So it's yeah. gonna be a little weird, but. Again, I, I just feel like it depends on your perspective because I feel like a lot of people got a lot out of this. If you think about it, yeah. think about how many people were able like to probably start working out at home and started getting motivation to actually like yeah, do something. Because I feel like about that. yeah, it's like a whole bunch of gym equipment is like sold out to like next year's shit. Like it, yeah, man. At I, the beginning, everybody was like, "Fuck it, I'm I'm home all day. I'm a, I'm gonna do those extra pushups. I'm gonna go out there and walk. I'm gonna go do all that shit that I normally don't do because I'm so allegedly yeah. I'm busy." With work and life and all that shit, and now there's no excuse. You're home all the time. Might as well get that in there. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Bikes, bikes was out. That's the first time in my what? fucking stupid the, life that Walmart ain't had no bikes, I no mean, bikes. Every, at, all the bikes were sold out everywhere. Look at what thrived. Everywhere. Look at what thrived. The scooter shit, the little electric scooter shit. Look at how much that thrived. You know what I mean? Like, think about how much, how far that's gotten. Like, okay, in every single block in Winwood. There's those fucking little scooters, the, birds, the little lift scooters, the birds, the, birds, the limes, whatever that fucking shit's name. That a fucking scam. Though, in in bro. general, I mean, regardless of the scam or not, but the point is that it's so much of them because people are actually using these shits because yeah. people are actually trying to be out now too. Not be out, but it's just quick commute. It's just like, oh, I gotta get point A to point B, and I don't have a car because I'm a bum. I no, don't have man. a bike because bro, I'm a bum. I literally bum. ride those with my girl for fun. Yeah, no. You see, you for got fun. funds for that. For that fun. does, it's for, they have funds for that. You, no, I, 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 that's a good idea. That's something to do. 
But I'm the point is lie, that it's it got not, people it's not more a bad active. Idea. I feel like it still got more people more active to go out, go do some shit. Because think about yeah. it. But you and the, there's a lot of people that took going outside for granted. Then yeah. you you got stuck in the pandemic, I, and now you start to like really like appreciate them. Like I I get to like go outside. I get to experience fucking fresh air. You know what I'm saying? I get to go and you know run what? out of park. Like that's a plus. I feel like you get from the this whole pandemic shit. You Not know, everything is bad. You know it's funny. I have this friend that he just stays home all day, and literally stays home all day. He doesn't do anything. And so we are in the pan whatever right before the pandemic, and the pandemic hit. Fuck, we gotta be home and shit. We can't go outside, bro. There's curfew. It was like a whole bunch of restrictions. Everybody's yeah. like, fuck, bro. And he was just like, oh, all right. He didn't feel nothing. He's like, I don't do shit anyways. Yeah. I'm just staying home. Yeah. The same shit yeah. I've been doing this whole time. Yeah, I mean, but uh, it, but you don't think it comes down to perspective? Because that was a perspective yeah, right there. In itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I guess you can sit there and not do shit for the past. I don't know how fucking long since we've been locked down since this corona shit happened, but exactly. other people took it as an opportunity to do whatever the fuck they wanted to do, and other niggas just didn't want to do anything at all. Like, But that's, that's what I mean, though. I mean, I would say this. The corona definitely exposed a lot of shit, right? Like, I feel like it exposed... Think about just in general, right? It, you know, how it, much it exposed how easily everything can just flip, though. That's what I'm saying. Like in general, just look at how everything just turned on its head, like like that fast. That whole mask shit a year ago was weird here, bro. If what? You see somebody walking in a mask with a mask on, it's either they're sick or they have a contagious something. Yeah, yeah, or something weird. Yeah, they're not out there protecting themselves. No, they're out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. it's weird. Yeah, it look weird. Now that's just the norm. That's a no. Yeah, that's. Sh- but if you don't got a mask, you can't go nowhere. You know, I feel like ugly people get away with this. Like this is the best time for ugly people to flourish. Cause you're only looking at this. Like this is lie. some. That, this I kind of agree with you, bro. Girls can get away with ugly ass teeth, mustache. You know what I'm saying? They got their mask on. Hey, what, are you, what are you? No, I'm just here protecting myself. I'm not hiding anything under here. I have perfect teeth. I don't have a mustache. I mean, like, this is where ugly people thrive. I mean... This is how ugly people get their jeans out. Initiation. I feel like initiation. No, Maybe. bro. Yeah, because nah, yeah, eventually you're going to take that mask off. When you, go, when you go sit down to go drink coffee with that person or go eat lunch, everybody takes their mask off. So oh. you're going to take it off and you're going to see, oh, t- shit. She could be she'd be crazy I enough G. to drink the coffee through the mask. I don't know. She's really avid on not taking Stop that mask it. because she's trying to protect Stop herself. It. Allegedly. Stop. Allegedly. So let me ask you something. If you sat on a date with a girl and she, she didn't take, take her off mask her mask, off, what you, you don't think that's a little weird? Uh, she's probably a dude, dog. I, I, that's I, I guess what, you don't think that's weird? I guess set up, dog. That's what I'm saying. Like That mask was definitely coming off and be like yo you, you, you safe so, somewhat nah bro you're I not seen them safe. spray I seen them spray Clorox on the table <laughs> yeah <I'm G. laughs> they, they're gonna use every excuse in the so book yeah, nigga. George got a girlfriend during quarantine so imagine yeah that's a plus he had a, he had a quarantine but he had to take his mask off for that yeah, that's what I'm saying to. I didn't even pull up with a mask on yeah, see, he don't give a fuck. She I mean, really don't up, give a fuck. I would pull up to some girl's house with a mask on. I might. She's not some girl now, but you know. It's not time. even. It's not even that. It's like, I oh damn, know. this nigga. Either he's two things gonna happen. I'm pretty sure she was like, oh, this nigga don't give a fuck about shit. He no, might have been man. giving me the she corona. Didn't, didn't I didn't invite him to my house. No. Or two, you could have pulled up with the mask. On. Take that I shit off. That That's shit. weird. I didn't even tell it you could what. Have negative impact. I didn't even put the mask on while I was in the Uber going to her crib. Yeah, you crazy, dog. And and they actually require you to wear a mask. So I'll be like, yeah, yeah. I put it on, and then once they like, you know, start driving, I'll be. I'll be Isn't that weird? You don't, you don't, you never pull down the window. You never roll down the window in the Uber. <laughs> in the Uber? I have, yeah, before. Nah, I feel like that's weird. I feel like if you don't talk to the you driver, young, it's bro, weird. That's why you young. Nah, bro. It's you young, bro. Watch. When it's you just get weird. Order, to, look, the older you get, the more you don't give a fuck. You know what it is? Like like a taxi cab, bro. Just like a taxi. You just nah, hop in nah, shit. Nah, don't talk to then, me, bro. I don't fuck with you. <laughs> Wait, nah, you think it's weird to pull the windows down on the Uber? Nah. I think it's a little weird. It's just like. Oh, so but you not from? Giving a fuck, bro. You know it's disrespectful if he touches radio. Man, that's, that's yeah, that's a little crazy. You reach over. That's a little crazy. You start doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a little crazy. You start nah, doing that. That's a little he, crazy. If he's playing some weird shit, I'm be like, my man, can you turn that down? Nope. You, you, imagine you touching the radio and just. <laughs> nah, you crazy, nigga. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. You trying to get shot, dog? Uh, that's get what shot. I'm saying. That's you know, I think, weird. Yo, you know them niggas be having weapons in the car, bro. I was in the Uber uh, with a girl. Uh huh. And she had her book bag right between her legs and she's driving. I'm like, why does she have that there? She probably had a fucking taste in the fucking car. Wait, what? Why would you assume that? Because she was because holding a George, bag? Because, George, when you, when you drive, maybe do you she, have that maybe backpack she had right some snacks. 
A yeah, backpack that big? No, no, I don't. Between your legs? No, that's I don't. What I'm talking about. Oh, she was driving with somebody in the front seat? She was doing Uber, nigga. She was doing Uber. So, when yo, I got I, in the Uber with I the I've sat in the front seat of Uber at times when the yo, back I is have, packed. I have a crazy ass When the Uber back be packed? Too, bro. What is it? What is nigga, it? Nigga, I got an Uber once in my old job, right? Bro, and this nigga pulled over to pick some dude or some black dude up, bro. This nigga was running from the cops. The cops pulled up on because he couldn't find them. And then the guy's like, hey, and then the cops came out and went, hey, get down on the ground. Bro, that nigga had robbed someone and tried to escape Jay. in my Uber, bro. What? <laughs> what? I oh, swear no, to God. No, bro. No, Jay, nah, I, bro. I chill, bro. bro. What happened? What happened? They arrested his ass, and I just like, the Uber driver's like, God damn, good thing I missed that last turn. <laughs> you know what that happened to my dad? He was coming home from his girlfriend's house, and he was literally down the block, and he didn't know. The police made a perimeter around my block because somebody was stealing, and they were trying to catch him yeah. in the act. So they made a perimeter on our block, and this nigga was taking the Uber home. The police stopped the Uber, and they had that nigga at my dad at gunpoint. He was like, yo, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Get out, get out. And my dad said, yo, chill, bro. I just live down the street. I'm just trying to get home. It's late at night. Your dad a black man? No. He's white. For real? Like and you. he still got treated like that? Yeah. Wait. Yo, I swear to God. He's light-skinned? Oh, he yeah. look like he got your color, bro. He don't? My co- I'm pale, bro. I'm pretty pale right now. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck going on. Listen. <laughs> That nigga, they, he told me that they put the gun in his face and all because they just trying to catch this nigga that I was robbing literally two houses down from my house, though. And I'm like, damn, ain't nobody notifying me. I didn't see no police nowhere. And they made a perimeter. They made a fucking perimeter. Damn, and this nigga came crazy. on late. That's crazy. I ain't never had no Uber story like that, bro. All these Ubers be boring to me, bro. Nah, bro. I had some dude that he said he got kidnapped, that he went through crazy. a whole bunch. He looked Dominican. And I'm like, are you Dominican? He's like, no, I'm Brazilian. <laughs> And it wasn't a Brazilian accent, but Brazil. yo, 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 let, let me ask George a question. George, how was your first day at work again? Fuck, man. I'm going to be honest, bro. Um, I learned this. I'm going to tell you I learned this week, right? So this, I'm, this I was trying to tell you by I know this to be at the top and the bottom. And this, and this is what I mean. This is what I, what's that? What's that? What happened? Hmm. Fuck, what was I? <laughs> top, top bottom. bottom. So check it out, right? So at the older company the reason i say that is because for one it was a much bigger building with a whole bunch of people in that shit right bigger than the building you used to work before no th- th- i'm not talking about this job i'm talking about the last job oh okay. th- what i mean by i mean by top what i mean by top is like yo the kind of money that they were giving you off bat as just for you to start was like pretty pretty fucking amazing you get me like free and this is like just like base you get me like complete base um and the comparisons, you know, I'm obviously going to make with, with the company I'm on now, it's just different. Like, like I've realized from this time, right, because obviously I was an employee for a little minute, right, this whole corona shit. I realized, like, damn, like, I don't want to work for anybody anymore. Like, literally. You know what I mean? Like, going back, that first day back into work just felt like, fuck. Like, that I haven't dreaded, I haven't dreaded any day like that since, like, school. Like, I remember having to go back to school. It was like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? But, but like, after that, like, working-wise, like, I've, I've never had, like, even, like, I was never on something like, damn, bro, I got to go to work. I got to go to work. It was like, all right, cool. Now I'm really on that, like, fuck, I got to go to work. Like, I'd rather work on, like, something else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like so, this shit. Exactly, yeah, like, like this. So, so that, that's, that's, the whole, that's the whole thing I'll say that I learned is that <clears throat> I think that this is giving me more fuel, you know what I'm saying, to, like, or, or, or more vision in other words you know what i'm yeah. saying to, to try to like build other paths because again i don't want to sound ungrateful because this opportunity is going to help pave the way for that right like that that's that that's going to be the goal right and obviously a little bit but above you just don't that. give a fuck about that job yeah that, that, that's just it like for the meantime right now i is it, i'm not gonna say i don't give a fuck it's not that i don't give a fuck it's just not for you me it's just not for me I, I i'll just keep it like that it's just not for me that this is the first time i've learned that too like I've learned, like, oh, damn, like, okay, like, I, I guess as I'm getting older and I'm starting to, like, numberfy this, I'm starting to feel like, what happened? I'm laughing. I'm just thinking oh, about some funny I, shit. I'm trying to, like, like put, I guess, like, a number to, like, the value. Because do you know your value? Yeah, I'm worth a million dollars. What's your value? A that's, what, that's all you're worth? Man, you're not worth shit. A million dollars in revenue. Why, why, are you, why are you worth a million dollars? Because it's me. No, fuck out of here. Give me, give me. Damn, reason. this nigga hating what, right what's, now. What, what, I can't, no, I'm not I hating. can't value myself, nigga. You could, but I want to know why you value yourself at because a million dollars. Because I can, because that's how much. I don't know. I, I'm not going to say a crazy ass number like a billion dollars. Why not? 
Because that's not realistic. Because at the end of the so day, so why? So why are you valued at only a million? Then? So what? What makes you worth a million dollars? Well, what makes you think that you could even generate a million dollars? Nah, I wasn't gonna go there, but that's no, fuck generating. That doesn't even matter. Why are you worth? You're saying that's what you're worth. Because that's what I'm worth, nigga. I don't know what to tell you. Why do you tell? You don't tell Sony why is a PS4. Three hundred something dollars. Of course so, you do. So you tell. Uh, so I'm you ask the question, but that you see, look, I'm about to cut you off, but this is the thing. <laughs> you get cut off. You, 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 <laughs> nah, because you, you pointed out something that's interesting. You're saying, oh, people don't question Sony why the PS, the PS5, right? It's how much is it? Three hundred dollars. Five hundred. Okay, five hundred dollars, right? There's the thing. A lot of people do question it, and in fact, they go ahead, they do the research, you know, and they. That's wh- why you think there's so much breakdowns as to like, oh, Nike shoes cost a penny to make. Right, cause or whatever, thirteen cents to make because they Child that's labor. what they pay. Okay, but who? How do you think you know that information? Like, where where did you get that information the from? The internet. It's, okay, but somebody before, right? Because the internet just didn't Found make this out, shit up. Did that's, the research, that's what I'm saying. Put it up. That's what I'm saying. So look at what we're exposed to. We're exposed to just accepting whatever price they give us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like, yo, this is your price, so this is what you are. Thank okay. God for that third party. No, but hold Thank up, but, no, no, but hold up, but look at look at what I'm trying to get to now, though. They give you a price and they tell you, yo, this is what you're worth. And you got to accept that. You don't question that. Because you just said, you, yo, you don't ask Sony why the PS5 is worth $500. Right? That means you don't question it. You just pay the price they give you, right? All right, that's how much it costs. That's how much I'm going to pay, right? All right, so check it. So that means that when they give you a price, you just take it. Okay, cool. And that's exactly what happens to all of us. Like, that's exactly how we end up in this workforce getting fucked up, right? Because they tell you, well, this is how much we're going to pay you. Nobody taught you how to negotiate that. Nobody told you if no, your skills are no. actually worth more than that. But how do you know that, though? How would you know that? No, I give you that. Nobody has taught us how to negotiate a price or anything like that. But to do what, what you're saying is like, bro, they can easily go like, oh, you don't want to take it? No, you don't, have to, you don't have to be here. You don't have to work here. You don't have to buy a product. Somebody else will come in and buy a product, and they will work for yeah, us. but that's it's, my it's, point exactly. It's on, because it's depending on who it is. Because easy, they can easily go like, oh, no, you don't want to do it? Okay, don't do it. They don't force you to do anything. It's what they put up. They don't force you to do anything. Of course, they don't force you. I, I, I obviously, if you that don't want to buy it, I don't it. worry about it. Don't buy it. The next sucker But what I'm trying will. to tell you, But what I'm trying to tell you is that the amount of work that a lot of people do for these industries, these companies, never almost match up to so like compensation. Paid. Like It never matches up. Like a lot of people put in way more hours and way more effort than money. Than the money that's given to them for that job. You get what I'm saying? Because because that's what I'm trying to tell you. They stamp us with a yeah, price. Yeah, I do believe that. You're going to get paid that. for this job, $13 an hour. So if to you, that's the most money you've ever made, right? $13 an hour. Okay, so now I'm here with this job, right? Until you don't make more money, you're not going to understand unless you know yourself what you're worth. Unless you make more money, you're not going to understand that. Because, for example, say you're making $50 an hour, right? Corona happens, you lose your job, your industry that you were in completely dies because a bunch of businesses die, so you're not making the money that you used to make. Now you got to go and work for $20 an hour when you're making 50 Think about that for a minute, right? You just lost 60% of your entire income. Yeah, now you got to go all the way down to the dirt, which you feel like is the dirt. You, you, you get what like I'm saying? What? So, okay, so but that's what I'm saying, though. Why do we do that? Why, why do we go from $50 an hour and then we take an L to 20 Because we didn't do the right things that we should have been doing to build our own shit up. So we don't have to depend on other people and have them just give us a price. Yo, you're going to be $13 an hour. You're going to be $18 an hour. Like all that shit, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly why we struggle and we cross so much because we allow other people to just put a price on us. And we don't yeah. ever fight that shit. We don't no, ever, we don't we don't ever question we don't- it. We don't have the, the vision to see if, past that. I mean, that, think about just a regular job, right? Like, have you ever negotiated, like, how much you're going to pay you out of job? Or do you no. just accept, oh, this is how much the position pays and that's it? No. Not my but you job. can negotiate, though. The reason why we don't negotiate is because we we're not taught to negotiate. We're taught, yo, just like you said, yo, they can tell you to fuck off. And if they tell you to fuck off, then you're fucked because now you're not going to have a job. And now you're not going to be able to have the mortgage and the car. I feel like you got to get car, in there, though, first. I feel just like you got to get in there. they tell you they're going to pay the, the job is $12 an hour, does it mean that, that, that you can't get more money out of yeah. it? Like you you, you got to get in there you, first, you, you though. That's why no, I say. That's not, why I say. Not first, though, because think about it. Okay. No, no, that's why I say you got to. Check it. Check it. You apply for a job, right? Okay. They call you. They're interested. They give you a job interview, right? So you show up to the job. Very professional, very well dressed, right? You know, you know what you're worth, right? Because you, mind you, you give them a piece of paper, right? And that piece of paper determines what you're worth because they're gonna be like, well, how much did you get paid at your previous job, right? Or what? Well, this at the third, right? You can tell them because they never give you the number first. They're gonna ask you your number first because. Okay, for example, let's say that they're offering twenty dollars an hour minimum for this position, right? And you tell them, oh, I used to make seventeen. 
Oh, they're going to be like, okay, well, you know, we're offering $18 for this position. Exactly, because they're going to realize they never tell you the number first. They always ask you that first. So when you tell them, oh, I was making $13 an hour, they're going to know what ballpark oh, to play yeah, I, I, I do. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I, I so had that happen happened to me so, one time. Okay. That happened so to me Talk to me. Talk to me. What Nigga, they do? I don't know. Uh, I went to the GM, and this bitch was like, yo, oh, I want, I want this position. I was like, oh, yeah, I, I'm certified in this position. I was like, oh, yeah, how much you want? Like 13, like, like 16, 17 dollars. And I'm like, uh, yeah, we can do that. But I said a lower number. I said like 12, 11. Yeah, yeah. I said like 12, 13. And she just bumped it at the dollar because she didn't know. She didn't know how much that, that position cost. Like, yeah, yeah, that right. so she just threw, she a just threw that number. I mean, she yeah. was just like, is, is that right? And I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, that's gotcha, right. Got, okay. It's like, but you, probably, you probably didn't say that shit confidently. I would have fucked myself if I would have said, the, but she just said yeah, it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you see, but that's a that's the thing though. Regardless of that, in the same scenario I was putting, right? Let's say you got an interview. You're talking to the person, right? They give you the number. They're saying, okay, we're, we can uh we we could give you twenty right now. You get me? That that's what we're doing right now. You can be like, okay, look, I understand, but my number is this. And you tell them my number is this because this, 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 that, and the third. So you know what, what I'm do you saying? do? That's negotiation. So I'm what, saying that, oh, yeah, that, that's yeah, how you get into a negotiation. Yeah, you know I mean? guess. Instead of just being like, all right, you give 20 an hour, cool, you're going to take that. We, again, we're not taught to negotiate. But you know why we're not taught to negotiate and why we can't do it? Because we don't know our value. How can you negotiate I, I something you don't know the value? You completely, nigga. Okay. I so now I, I'm going to revert back to the question. So why are you worth $1 million? Because that's what I believe I'm worth. I mean, I, mean, I don't know what to tell you, nigga. You're like, I don't know what to tell you. I, this I, is what I believe I'm I, worth. I, I, I would just, I would just like to know. George, how much are you huh? worth? How much that's are you? the thing. I don't have a number, though. Oh, my God, No, nigga. I'm you serious. You got to be bullshitting I'm me, serious. dog. You can't buy me. Because, like, when you tell me I you're can't worth... I can't buy you? Here's the thing. When George, you tell George, me... your ass is worth a billion dollars, though. Stop it. Yes, if Wait, a billionaire I'm not comes Kardashian. in here... I'm not Kim If Kardashian. a billionaire comes in, I'm going to... I want to fuck you, George. How much no. is it? I'll write a check. Whatever no. number it is. There's I don't care no how many number. digits. There's literally no number. Yeah, George. Yeah, this There's nigga's no coming. Number. Look, George. Yeah, I don't do... I don't really be doing shit for money, though. Yeah, look. I don't. All right, George. You remember the first time you got head? I remember. Wait, wait. You remember the first time you got head? I remember. What was his name? What, what was his name? There was no his. What was his name? There was no his, though. It wasn't a man. It was a female. He thought he was going to get a fast one on you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, bro. Everybody has a price. Like, I truly believe Stupid everybody. Ass, nah, you know where the fuck I'm from? I've been done this, bro. All them jokes you, you just said, what? I made those up. You've been done what? All those jokes you said, bro. You've been done we, what? We, a, listen, I'm our a, generation a, built those jokes up and gave them to y'all. You I'm know a, what I'm a, saying? That's what we did. We I'm gifted a, them to y'all. Your mom knows your boyfriend gay? <laughs> nah, bro. Look. <laughs> so you're telling me, I believe that everybody has a price, nigga. I truly believe everybody has a price, nigga. Oh. You don't believe that? No, because you know this, how strong willed you gotta listen, be. Listen, you know how ignorant you listen, gotta be. Though, listen, because it all don't don't say nothing dumb either, right? Like, oh, if somebody tells you to do this for a million dollars, let's say something simple. You didn't even ask no. the question you asked me. You like, nah, I question? don't have okay, a number. What, what was, I don't have a number though. Why don't you have a number? When you why say, don't when you, you have a number? No, because because you can't. There's not a number in my head that I could think of that's like, oh, this justifies who I am. He's like, never had a million dollars on the table. It's not a numerical. No, but it's not a numerical number in my head that I've ever been like, oh, this is what I'm worth. I'm worth because you said a million dollars and you don't even know why. So that means that you're and you saying that the there's no number. Yeah, listen, yes. You, but I'm I'm answering honestly though. Like I'm telling you and that I'm there's answering no honestly too. What no, you you're not answering your bullshit because right, what the see, fuck is okay? You don't even know why you're worth right, 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 right. a million dollars. Why right, why are you worth a million dollars? You, you, you can't even answer the simplest question. Okay, let me, let me give an example. This, I, Jay, let's say you're worth ten million dollars, right? That's your net worth, right? Check it out. Check it out. Look look at how look at how simple math, simple finance is, right? You grab all your assets minus your liabilities, right? That's gonna equal your net worth, right? So what are assets? So his cars, his obviously his no. homes. So it's gonna be his homes, his whatever is of value, his stocks, a car is gonna be in there. It is a depreciating asset, but it's an asset. Whatever shit that you have that is of worth and value is going into assets, right? And whatever debt that you have, whatever money you owe, that's your liabilities. Let's say this nigga right here is debt free. Right? And Who? all the cribs and all the cars and all the stocks that he owns is worth $10 million, right? That's why he's worth that, right? We can break that down and be like, yo, Jay got a million dollars in Amazon. Jay got ten, $5 million in real estate. Jay got it, $2 million Damn. in exotic 
premium uh, exclusive we, cars. Yeah. Examples, this is my life. <laughs> this okay. Is this is my <laughs> life. I live this life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's so telling the public my story. That, <laughs> <laughs> that is his net worth, right? That is why he is worth $10 million. Why are you worth a million? You don't even have an answer to it. Why are you worth a million? I didn't, I didn't go that in depth, dog. You didn't give me that, that but chance. No, you know why you didn't go that in depth? Because you just took that number out your ass. Yeah. That's yeah, okay because then. That that's number, what I'm trying to get to. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's but that's it? like when that's, I say, that's what you when want, I say, I, what you want. there's no, I'm not worth like money because first of all, that's bullshit. I'll give you an example right now. He's worth $10 million, right? But the stock market, S&P 500, boom, crashes, hits 50%. Guess what? Don't, whatever he, whatever stocks or money he had in, boom, dipped. The real estate market around you, right? Some dudes came up and shot up the whole neighborhood and a lot of people moved out or whatever and fucked up the property value. His crib that was worth a million, 10 million, whatever, 3 million, just dropped down to half. Like, so at the end of the day, all that money shit goes up and down anyway. At the end of the day, you never told me his name, so we'll never know. I mean, what the fuck? You never told me his name. Get off of it. Get off of it. Get off of it. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Bro, so we just celebrated my girl's birthday, and yesterday was Isa. Is it yesterday? No, yesterday. Yesterday was Isaura's birthday, which is my sister in law's birthday. But I just, I come to the realization, it's like, why are birthdays a thing? Mm. Mm. That's what he likes. Look, mm. birthdays are the worst days. Nah, 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 nah. Cocksucker. We were saying this before the podcast. Yeah. First of all, you said it wrong. It's birthdays. But he's finishing it, though. But he's finishing it, though. He's finishing it, though. He's finishing it, though. Look. What's the problem with these young guys? Birthdays are Get significant. Get your material, fool. Fuck. Get your own material. I'm trying to be original. Look, I'm trying to be original. You see, that's a problem. You see, that's a problem. You, people, a you don't try to be original. You just, just are original. But I'm over here. I'm over here trying out content. But y'all already heard this shit. That's not my fault. Y'all heard it somewhere else. Heard what? What you talking about? Never mind. I never just, mind. Never mind. Never mind. I just put never you on. No, you just pointed mind. out that your, your biggie reference was his because he's the one that said it first. Okay, bro. Come on, <laughs> All right, man. Bro. What a fucking Red race. Replica. Give him a nigga. Give him a nigga. <laughs> Give him a nigga. <laughs> Fuck this nigga. We ain't in school. Look, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Birthdays should be important to you individually. But to other people. Why though? But why, why do you because think? it's the day you was born. It's the day you came out of your mom's hole. It's the day, nigga, that you came to life. I mean, like, we, we understand what happened on that day. We get it. But, but why, why do, do we, we celebrate, celebrate it yeah. every year? Because yeah, it's why special, is it a celebration I mean, though? Why are you should ask that question to the niggas that get their birthdays tatted on their fucking skin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's people just people. like their birthday. I mean, it's an excuse I mean, for them listen, to do whatever they want. Yes, it's an excuse to get yes. whatever they want. Yes, there we go. They that, use that's, it. That's, they use that's it. exactly what they I was going to get They don't really celebrate it. They just kind of use it. That's exactly what I was going to get to. I understand, like, I feel like, in, especially in Western culture, it's like a use system, right? It's like, okay, it's my birthday. And now, by the way, this use system is, it could be good and bad. I'm, I'm explaining to you how, right? It could be bad if... When it's your birthday, all you want to do is chill with all your rich friends or, you know, all, all the friends that you don't really talk with throughout Damn, the year. I want to chill with my rich friends. You want to invite them and, you know what I'm saying, you want to kick it with them to see if they, you know, knock you out some. You know, you want to go for your birthday and go all out and want your friends to blow money on you. That type of shit, that's, that's how it's bad, right? That's how it could be bad. I guess it could be bad. It could but be, it could be good now in the sense of you may, be grateful. Maybe, maybe you don't see your friends all the time because you're busy. And this is that one busy, time you see them. this is one time where it's like, you know what, this is an excuse, right? To get everybody to pull up over here real quick, you know what I'm saying? And we can uh, finally we get kick together. in. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's definitely Birth, two point of Birthdays and deaths are like really weird, nigga, because I feel like those are the only times people are willing. I feel like they're those the complete opposites. But those are those rare times where people are even willing to get together. I feel like nobody gets together on an off day, like on a random day. Nobody's like, eh, nah, I don't feel like seeing my auntie. She kind of loud or whatever. And, you know, she got them three kids. I don't really feel, feel like fucking with that. I but like and it, if it was like an that. occasion that happened where if somebody was to get married or a birthday or death, be like, fuck, I guess we going over there. Fuck, <sighs> fuck her annoying kids. I, I don't give a fuck. I got to go do what I got to go do. I feel like birthdays, though, aren't really like, I feel like birthdays now isn't a time where you go see like your aunts and your grandmas. I feel like no, it's, you, you know just show your myself, friends nah, and you nah, push Yeah, it. I find myself like, a birthday is only one day, bro. You you don't have enough time to see everybody you care for or be around the people you want to be with. Well, and, I and feel it's like not their you know job, it though. It's I their birthday. It's yeah. not their job. It's yeah. not your job to try to go and see them. You but get I feel me? Like it's their it's job. Just, I feel like it's just like to, uh, but either this, I pick being with my family and staying humble, you know, staying sober, or going out with my friends on a crazy-ass adventure at night and getting fucked up. But you always choose getting fucked up. 
Of course. Sometimes right. you do, sometimes you there don't. You sometimes you got plans. Sometimes All the you times don't. you do. Sometimes Stop you'll ditch your, your family, adult, go your, with your friends. Or sometimes you'll ditch your friends, your adult life. with your family. In your adult life, most of the time, yeah, I get you. Yeah, you're right on that. Nah, but yeah, when you're a that. kid, a birthday comes is probably the best day of your life because you get yeah, stuff. Yeah, of course. They yeah. don't think about nothing else, bro. They think but about this, toys but and this shit gonna say like that. that. But this is what I was going to say. Why do we, where's this whole obligation shit come from? Because this is what I just said, right? I just said... If it's your birthday, it's not your job, right, to go see the people that you love or whatever. It's not really your job. It's their job to reach out to you, to come see you, right? That's the whole point of the birthday. Yeah. Why do we, Why have we gotten there? Like, to that point where it's like, oh, that we have an obligation. Like, if we're your closest friends, don't, I mean, we're guys, so we probably don't really give a fuck like that. But I feel like this is more with girls. Like, if they're close friends or people that they fuck with don't say happy birthday to them, it's, like they'll feel some type of way. Yeah, yeah, they get mad. For but some I feel reason. like guys are like that too. We just try to hide that shit sometimes. Because, you, you know, so? guys be. I mean, me personally, I don't give a fuck. But I know that there's guys that, you know, try to hide, the, you know, because they're, you know, the whole machismo attitude and shit. Uh, I personally, bro, like if you say happy birthday to me or not, I don't give a fuck. Like, it's whatever to me. Yeah, like, I yeah, guess some guys cool, feel bro. some type of way about it, but yeah. I don't think the. I don't think you got to do a whole lot to, like, overcome it. Like, you can just be a simple, yo, happy birthday, nigga, so You don't really got to go all out, decorate their room, take them somewhere. You don't got to do nothing like, extravagant as, as, like, a girl. Text. I'm sorry, a even simple text would be like, damn, this nigga, all right, he sent me happy birthday. I'll see you. But, but, if, I but don't it could be as simple that. as that. It could I mean, be as simple yeah, as that. It, it doesn't have to be, the measurement of so, what yeah. you have to do is it doesn't have to be big yeah, that's compared true. to a girl. That's true. You know what I'm saying? If you tell her, oh, happy birthday. Oh, oh, Well, if you're a boyfriend, yeah. No, if you're a friend. No, nah, I don't think so. Bro. If you're a close friend, it's just like, eh, have right there. Well, the yeah, girl be like, right. man, fuck this yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, you might be right. This nigga don't give a fuck about me. Yeah, you might be right. Nah. But if we was homies, doing like, yo, I read down say we could do something nice later yeah, or see whatever. That. I can, see I can give you something later, but not right now. I don't got no. It should be like, oh, I don't give a fuck. As long as you acknowledge it yeah. and you said what's up, I'm good. Like, I'm good with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess I could get with some of that, like, that shit. I could rock with that. You know, um. Yo, Jay, what's, what, what you got popping over there? <laughs> Let me get on the mic. This <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga's been walking around lifting shit randomly. And he does like one squat. He does like one deadlift. I'm like, yo, you gonna just work dead. out, I'm bro? Dead. Yo, you know, <laughs> we worked out yeah, yesterday. Yeah. We worked yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday? Man, chest? my chest on fire. Yeah, my chest on fire, dog. That's how you know we're getting rusty up in this Second bitch. Second of all, yeah. shut the fuck up. But right, you well, shut the fuck so up. Rude. Yeah, this guy yo, just check, is so rude. So check it out. So check it out. So check it out. So check it out. Check it out. You been busting nuts or Nah, nah. Y'all been busting nuts? Mm -hmm. I feel you now, bro. You I gonna tell it. me his name or what? <laughs> I see he said. He said what? <laughs> he said, I feel you, bro. I feel you. Right, so right. check it out. So you saw this, this stimulus check got vetoed. Yeah. And now they vetoed the second one uh, for the two Gs. Yeah. I feel like this shit is bullshit. Right, talk, talk to me. Look, talk to me. Right, well, I feel like Trump just fucking with us. And yeah. Just, 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 ah. Dick, ah. <laughs> he over here pump faking, bro. Cat yeah, putting the in and out. Cat Williams said, "I didn't figure out the whole gun or nothing, but a bunch of pimps and hoes in that shit, nigga." Yeah, that's a fact. You gonna suck dick? We are gonna take over the whole fucking stone mountain, nigga. I don't know what, but I'm gonna say, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah, how I feel yeah, it is, bro. Because yeah. that nigga, he knew, like Jay said, he knew about that shit. He knew, yeah, yeah. he knew, he just Basically ignored that. it. He, they didn't want to pay attention to it. Yeah. He used it as it, trying to get elected. Y'all like me? I'm gonna make sure y'all get that check. You know what I'm saying? That's bullshit. Yeah. Give us a check now, bitch. Niggas is dying now. Niggas is hungry now. Not it, when you it, get elected. Because he's trying to make it about himself, and it's not supposed to be like that. Yeah. It's about the people. He's only trying to, it only benefits him if, yeah, yeah, y'all yeah, vote for me. I gotcha. Of course. That nigga ain't doing shit. It's a whole political game. Yeah, he game. said, oh, yeah, after the election, I'll help you guys out. No, nah, right now. Right now. <laughs> right now, this nigga's dying. Niggas ain't hungry First during the election. This is the thing, right? So this, this whole little $600 shit is a slap to the face I feel to just people though right like like right but no but but but, but, but this is the thing exactly yeah, but, that's true. but but, that's but true. this is the thing though I mean obviously though the two G's is a lot better than the 600 because with the two G's you could at least afford to pay your rent some utility some shit right you can fill and up the fridge you're right though because you're right because you've right, you realistic. probably been dying from way back but anyways. realistically nine months ago I've been, I missed eight months of payments that's the, exactly. the fuck I'm gonna do with two thousand dollars exactly exactly and but and, and, and think about that that's the energy with the 2k right the 600 when I heard the 600 I was like bro listen 
don't don't even waste the money. Like don't don't even do it, America. That's the problem. Don't he, do it. He knows them. I feel like especially now, if he would have given it to us now, niggas was gonna spend that shit regardless, bro. If though if that six whatever six hundred two thousand dollars, if we got that two weeks ago, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. that shit so would have been wait, wait. back in their pocket. But check it check by it. now. Check it. Though. The point of the stimulus package is is to motivate people to spend the money because you need to stimulate the economy. So that's the whole point of the stimulus check. Yeah, I get it, I get it. So, you, so it is meant for you to spend. Like you said, I do feel the same. It's a slap in the face, though. That's, it's a slap that, in the face, That's what I'm saying, because with six, the thing about this, right? Who, for example, we live in Miami, right? We it's, don't spend that, bitch. Exp- no, but I'm saying it's expensive, it's expensive as fuck to live here. So who do you know that their rent is $600? Nobody, nigga. I don't you know. No, I was extremely amazed when I found out what my girl was paying for rent. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't even know that existed. She didn't even know that shit existed. You know what I'm saying? So $600, you can't even pay rent, bro. So like, what are you supposed to do with that? Like, uh. like you can't do shit with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, you're going to buy some groceries for, like, the month or some shit like that? You're not going to do nothing. You know what I think is, dog? uh, That shit don't apply to us, dog. That shit don't apply to us, bro. We, every city, every state, there's a reason why everybody's different. There's a reason why everybody has different laws. There's a reason why it's different shit. Because now, that shit don't apply to us here. $600, what are we going to do with that? But I understand $600 to one of them crackers over there in the middle of fucking, in the middle of fucking Louisiana. Mm. Lost in the fucking forest. You know what I'm saying? $600 coming through. They probably That'd don't even nice. have, but they probably don't even get a, a they don't tax get return. A, All right, child. Technical difficulties once again, but uh, we're going to try to get it right. Um, where were we? I record phone, yeah. bro. Where, where were we, bro? Where were we? Uh, we're talking about, talking we don't about get a the camera. stimulus check that people were getting in other countries, even when they moved back to the countries. Regardless. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, I mean, I mean, bro, in general, bro, just the, the whole thing with this money is that, first off, people didn't even get it. So, there's some people that still didn't get the first check. Which is fucking on, crazy. On top of that, the fact that you want to offer a second one this fucking late, like Giselle said, fucking nine months later, or however long it's been, right? Because that's that's a huge fucking factor. Like, what the fuck has been happening this whole entire time, right? Because at this point, bro, we printed out money, right? The, the third thing, and the most shocking one to me, well, actually, maybe the second shockest one, is going to be the fact that you want to give $600, which is half of the first one. So <laughs> niggas was already complaining and starving with the first one. Couldn't do shit with that one. And... I mean, yo, this shit is fucking ridiculous. But the most, like, crazy one to me is, like, hearing the whole Donald Trump shit. Now, mind you, I didn't fact check this, so I don't know if this is actually 100% fact true. But supposedly that bill is, like, 5,000 pages long. Supposedly these yeah, Congress niggas people ain't even read that shit at all. Exactly. They said, fuck and Trump. apparently there is billions of dollars going to other countries. And I don't other know for bullshit. what reason. Yeah, 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 and you bullshit. get me? Again, I'm not sure for what. I heard something about Egypt. I heard something about Nicaragua and Central America. I heard I don't know. Like, I don't know if that's for help. I, I don't get it. But the point is that it's a little shaky situation. You know what I'm saying? And shit's a little fucked up. So uh, yeah, especially for like us, you know what I'm saying? We're not into like politics like that, but you still get like a little grasp of it. Like you still feel people like being like, bro, you serious? Like who the fuck? Like, you yeah, can't do nothing. Like I with said, that. bro. You know, but, hey, but a bunch of pimps and hoes in there. Most and we death. can't do nothing but vote for a stupid ass nigga every year, every other year, not every year, every four years. We have no say in shit. There's some people in there that are really good, that are really trying to do some good for the majority. Yeah. But, bro, there's just too many old heads in there just think that they can run this shit, just doing fraudulent shit. I said, yeah, that whole shit's a boy's And And until we, no, until we go in there and clean house, dog, which I don't think we're ever going to fucking do. I don't know. There's a TV show that was recently that these people were watching. They put out this hypothetical shit that what if all everybody in Congress and all everybody that's important, everybody in the government that's important got in the White House and somebody somewhere nuked the fucking White House and killed everybody off. Everybody off. Hmm. What happens to the government then? And they 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 made this scenario like this random person, not random person, you know, somebody that's like lowest but to the top, like becomes president and then like it's just a shit show. Yeah, it literally shows what, you what happens if every government official or yeah. like that's in power or whatever just gets killed off. Yeah, because there's like a whole bunch of people in line for that position anyways. It's just like you said, like like if a Supreme Court judge passes away, they're gonna elect someone else to go ahead and do that. You get me? If the president passes away, the vice president comes in and takes over. And what over. happens after the vice president? That's what I'm, um, I think it's like, not the treasurer. I don't know. It's like some other dude yeah. and some other dude. Some niggas that we don't know about. Other niggas that we don't know Because we're not into politics, though. Like, I mean, th- there's a no, lot of people that are into yeah. politics. They know. Like, because they, they know. know who, like, the... First of all, I, 
First of all, I didn't pay attention to civics at all. My seventh grade year, I didn't pay attention to civics, so I don't remember none of that shit. Like, what was the three? Uh, it's like three things, right? The three. The branches. judicial system or whatever. I don't remember that shit. Like, I don't remember a lot of that shit. You get me? So it's like, yeah. But yeah. you know, point of the matter, bro, is like that. I, I I feel it. I feel people's pain when when it comes down to that. Um, Niggas, again, I do believe again, even, niggas was hungry. Yeah, there, of course, that's I what I'm really saying. And even regardless that. of the perspective that you want to put for Corona, because like, just like what we're talking about for the be- at the beginning, right, for the beginning of the year with the Corona thing, whether however the perspective you want to go, there was some loss and there was some gain at the end of the day. You get me? If you want to go and find a happy medium and a happy balance in that, you know, because you had the perspective of it was bad, I had the one that eh, well, it could be good, you know, depending on, on on what the case is. So, and just like Jay brought up, right, like at the beginning of the year or in the middle of pandemic, I got a girl. So I guess that's like a not I guess that's definitely a plus. You know what you I mean? Think you wouldn't have a girl if you didn't go through a pandemic. I think a lot of shit would have happened with a pandemic. Uh, nah, I feel like this one was probably like it's pretty well. Yeah, maybe. I I, I think we wouldn't have this. My relationship right now wouldn't have moved as fast if it wasn't for coronavirus. I'll you say that one hundred percent. Because think about this, right? Just like I said, like from day one, it was already like we cut through the bullshit because. For example, your typical first date, I don't know how typical first dates go, but I'm a, I'm a spitball here from what I've seen in movies and all this shit, right? Your typical first date is you make a night of a Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, right? That's usually the days, right? That Those first dates yeah, happen. Yeah, because niggas work during the week. Right. It can, it can happen throughout the week, too, though. It don't matter. You know, niggas still got the time. But whatever. You pick a night. You get all dressed up. She gets all dressed up. Her, you know, her best look, your best look, smelling the best, all that shit, right? And you're coming in, and you're both trying to present yourselves to the best 100% of your ability. Like, if you're going to for a job interview, right? Knowing damn well that that's not how you are 100% of the time. Knowing that 90% of the time, you're probably ratchet, and you're probably bummy, you're and you probably shit stinky. face. Exactly. Shit face. And so... You know, you begin a relationship with one expectation or maybe, like, one, you know... Like, I, I guess, like, you know, you catch a vibe, in other words. You get me? You, you have a yeah. vibe. You know, like, damn, this person's dope. This person's clean. This is at the third. And, you know, as the, as the relationship continues to move on in life and years pass by, or maybe you finally move together after some time, right, that, that you've been with each other, then you start to realize, oh, shit, like, you kind of nasty here. You slobby here. Like, I didn't expect this from you here. Because, you know, yeah, you, you, you start to live with that, but you start to understand that. So that's basically what happened to us, like, we were inside all the fucking time because we couldn't be anywhere else. You get me? So, like, would, mind you, I'm, I work from home. I mean, you know. So, I was literally at her crib. Like, I will sleep time. over. Like, yeah, I will sleep over. I wake up and work in the crib. And she's in the crib with me also. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we're spending all this time together. So, we already know. Like, like I already know what you look like when you wake up in the morning. Like, I got it. Like, you know, like. like I, niggas I know. look ugly when they wake up. I ain't going to cap, bro. They, the niggas, some niggas look ugly, girl, bro. But. Now nah, yo, I'm, not, I'm saying niggas in general. Oh, I get you, I get you. Niggas yeah, 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 ugly, yeah. bro. That be happening to me sometimes. Sometimes I wake up, my beard be nah, all. No, but you ugly up. in general. Look. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I got you. So you gonna disrespect me like that? <laughs> nah, <laughs> but you know, a whole bunch of good shit and bad yeah, yeah. shit come from this, dog. No, for sure, for sure, for everybody, yeah. for everybody, yo, yo, mainly yo. negative. Well, I mean, it's, it's the end of the year, so I mean, we're getting to this Christmas time. What you got? You you, you bought your gifts already? Bought all the shit you got to buy? Yeah, all I, the bought, I bought some of the shit I needed to buy. Not all of it, obviously. But I mean. look, let, let me ask you this. What do you think about this real quick? Do you think all this gifting shit that we do for the holidays? It's bullshit. It's like, bullshit. Yeah, I know you feel about this. Okay. It's bullshit, nigga. It's just corporations. It's bullshit, nigga. Why? Yeah. I, I think I said this before, yeah. though. I think I said this. Why Why would I have to wait till the end of the year for it to mean something? Why do I have to wait till the end of the year to get you something really nice that I want to give you mm-hmm. or force to give you? Yeah. Why do I have to wait? Till yeah. this time, yeah. why is it acceptable this time exactly. more than anything? That's what I, I give to my girl randomly this month. I give to her like one joint like a couple weeks ago. I get to her something like the other day you think for Christmas, and then Do you measure weed uh, as a it, gift. It, it, Blunt, like as in joke. Gift to her. Gift to her. Gift, bro. Gift to her. That's about bro, real gifts. Like, blunt. like, like, I, like, I don't got her this like little um custom joint. Th- I'm not gonna say what it is, but this little custom joint there. You know what I'm saying? Not a joint though. But, like this custom joint, like a thing. Like, I gave like this custom present. Um, and then we were at the mall the other day, and you know I got her like some cool cologne that she liked. I, I love how that shit smelled. But the point is, well, that I gave it to her like. Right then and there, like yo, this is yours. Like you, you didn't, like I'm not gonna wait until fucking Christmas to give but it to you. What I hate, what but I hate, that you have to clarify that. That's, Sometimes no, no, you have to clarify. I, no, that. that's the thing. I didn't have to clarify for her because she she already knows me. Yeah, I mean she she knows exactly what the fuck I'm about. But that's the thing though. I also understand and respect that there's people that fall into that 
like they fall victim into that shit. Cause that's a, to me that like you fall victim into that whole role of like you gotta give people shit and you gotta go do this and that. You fall victim to it. You get me? So <clears throat> the thing is that you know, I understand it also. Like I get you know, you 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 choose this time to be, you know, giving. the show exactly to be giving. You choose this time and to 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 ch- channel this vibe, if you will, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And, you know, you decide to go on the route. So I, I respect it. And I, mind you, I'm going to give her something for Christmas, too. Because I also understand that in life, bro, you know, when it comes to girls and relationships, and this is relationship both, like, emotional, romantic, just friendship, is that, bro, like, you said that you just got to, like, make somebody feel good at the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the, yeah, because that, that, that's, you know that's what happens. Up? It's at the time. Think you know about this. fucked up? What? All year you was giving your girl little gifts and that, bam, bam, yeah, bam. Yeah, yeah. Some of them little expensive more than the other, bam, bam, yeah, bam, 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 whatever. Come around this time of the year and you don't get her nothing big. You don't get her nothing special. You just give her a simple gift, even one, yeah. and she'll look at you crazy. I you think gotta, that's you, fucked you, up. Yeah, break up with that girl. Yeah, no, truly. Look. Yeah, break up with that girl. That's that how some. Good. That's, that's how, how some people digging. are. That's a, you know what it is at the beginning of December. You get your girl nice ass gift, nice real expensive gift. Boom. boom. And then come to 25th, she's like, well, are you not going to, you didn't get me anything? Yeah, because that, that just sounds like she wants the show. Shit. Yeah, they, she wants the show. It's just all about show and who got the best. And niggas just want to, oh, look what I got. Look what my boyfriend got. He got me new. I've, la, la, la. It's all that, bro. It's yeah, just, that's it's just all that. That's, that's, that's when you kill a person. That's it. Fuck this shit. I'm no, out. but shooter, like, I feel like I, I don't know at what point, I feel like it was maybe three, four years ago, it became a thing to like show like, 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 remember how, like, uh, how girls started putting candles and rose petals, or guys and girls were actually doing this, and it led to like the room, and the room had a, a bed full of like yeah, Louis Vuitton and and, and Chanel and Gucci and all a bunch of crazy shit. I feel like that was like a thing for people to do for a while, and I feel like that's what Christmas kind of has turned into now, right? Yeah, like nigga, Christmas like, and with, Thanksgiving. With social media, because yeah. nobody give a fuck about exactly. having dinner with your family. Like, and niggas just worry about, oh, I'm gonna call exactly. that TV I've been waiting all exactly. year for. I'm gonna get it at a low price. But you're right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the rest don't give of the year, fuck. exactly. The rest of the year, ain't nobody trying to go see mama, nana, auntie, none of that shit. But when Thanksgiving come, you know your mama gonna be cooking, your auntie gonna be cooking. You trying to pull it to the crib? You absolutely right. And you trying to pull it to the crib, chill long enough for you to wait for Black Friday for you to just. That's, the, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Is you're right, you're niggas right. don't give a fuck. They just want they just want to go to the store on Thanksgiving. Nobody wanna sit down yeah. with their family and talk to them. Just they wanna Christmas, sit down right? and get their like there's a word that we use lambon. You know what that means? Lambon, no. Lambon. What's, that? What's a lambon? That's the fucking it's uh <laughs> It's a fucking freeloader. That's what. Oh, it is. okay, it's okay. A that's the Dominican joint, lambon. Lambon, nigga. It's like you're a fucking lambon. That means you're a fucking freeloader. It means you go to your people's house, yeah. take their. You know, it's very disrespectful. To what? You go to somebody's house, you eat, and then you leave right after? Oh, yeah, that's a little disrespectful. That's like, very like, disrespectful. That's like, that, yeah, 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 in the Latin, that's just a no-go. Of no course, go. of course. So I feel like niggas just skipped out all the way. Yo, we ain't going nowhere, because fuck that. We just going straight to the store. Yeah. We going straight to the store. We're we going to camp that shit out. That's so stupid to me, dog. Yeah, yeah. You know people make a living off camping out for other people? Of course. People you get paid that? for that. I've seen that you shit. You've seen, seen that shit? What a fucking miserable yeah. I mean, life. even even to the, to the point of... of Right when you translate that to Christmas, it's like Christmas Day. Like, like I don't know why we choose that day, but I guess it's like a, a unison thing. I guess like since everybody's doing that shit, we just feel good. Like it's you like know, fuck you know, it, funny. let's just go yeah, with it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like it's like everybody's doing that shit. So you know what? We don't want to fucking be left you know out what of this. Also, shit. is bro, it's movies too. When we was kids, bro, like we've yeah, never seen snow here movie. in miami but all these fucking christmas movies got snow yeah. got de- houses with decorations yeah. outside nigga you yeah. don't see that out here at you Miami's, see bumps out here yeah this shit is you don't see that out here yeah. it's sunny 24 7 all the yeah. time in this bitch you're right you're right yeah but no but you said something at the beginning too of that topic you I said it's drugs? all corporations you yes, said it's all for the corporations which you're right though because if you think about that yes the movies no. push that that topic too because for example my favorite christmas movie home alone and what are they doing home alone the home alone too right both movies, just like you said, snowing outside, like Big Christmas houses, lights everywhere. Yeah, Christmas exactly, everywhere, shit that's not Christmas, Christmas, Christmas tree. Everybody got the Christmas tree. So when you're a kid from the hood and you grow up watching those kind of movies, because they put them on every fucking network there ever is, and they on put them reruns, on reruns, nigga, on reruns. on reruns, especially this month. So you're a kid, you grow up, or or maybe you know you gotta be from the hood. Maybe you don't got much, and your parents don't buy trees, and they don't afford trees and shit like that. Which maybe awesome you're awesome. you're not your religion ain't even part of that. Think about how many Jewish people have blended like Hanukkah and Christmas. 
You get me? Like traditional Jewish. Yeah, that's weird. Right? Like, like a tradition. That's what I'm saying. But they yeah, have yeah. mixed it up because it's like cool. Like like they, they're fine with it. But you know what I'm saying? Because it's just like, going with the road. Like everybody's like doing this, so let's all do it. I yeah. mean, to be honest with you, bro, like. I feel like Americans is just bullies. Yeah, though. that's. Eh, eh. But you they, know, you got to pick those bullies. days. But like Halloween, the same thing. What's Halloween? Halloween so that stores can sell costumes to your kids. So you can buy big fucking packs of candy. You get me like dumb shit. Like think about the dumb. You don't ever buy a big pack of candy if it's not for Halloween. You know what? You the know only what time is? you buy a big pack of candy you is know what like, it is that no, I feel like now the holiday is just a joke, bro. I remember Halloween and the whole block would be out. All the kids would be out. People would be in the streets yeah, walking around. Yeah, and shit. Yeah. Nobody do that shit. Now. Nobody. Nobody does that while shit. they're walking. Yeah, yeah that shit. None the, of that yeah, shit. This one, that shit just start getting like lame and shit. But it's the companies. Okay? I feel you, man. Look, bro. Um. I think this Christmas though for me is gonna be cool. You know what I'm saying? It just I, again like just like we said at the beginning, I'm gonna just take this time to really just try to catch up with the people I don't see on the on the day to day. Which you should do. Yeah. So I I think that's the biggest plus for me. Um, I mean, and and realistically, today is Christmas Eve, by the way. So I completely fucking forgot about it. Today's the 24th. Today's the 24th. Yeah. Holy so shit. 12. I right, so no. We when, opening gifts. Yeah. By the time y'all watch this, it's gonna be like I don't know, fucking. After Christmas, some shit like that for sure. But hopefully, hopefully we'll find out that nigga's name. You feel me? Hopefully, <laughs> this guy. All right, man. You know what? We're gonna end it right here, bro. We appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. I'm down. If you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, because that really does help us with the algorithm of putting us up there. So if we did something for you. We appreciate it. Um, yep. If you're listening to us right now, we appreciate you too. Give that thing a like. Put us the post notifications. All that good shit. Put it for us, please. We appreciate you guys. Once again, this is I'm Down. I'm your host, George. It's your boy, Amen. Young Jay in the back. Yeah, that was gay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Once again, we thank you guys. We appreciate you. This is I'm Down. Peace. Peace.